Panic buying at stores because of the dock worker strike. And Frank Fritz from American Pickers dies. Today, I read an article on Yahoo Finance put out by Freight Waves and written by Noy Mahoney titled, Panic Buying Already Spreading as ILA Dock Worker Strike Gets Underway. According to the author, there have been video clips posted by social media users on X and Facebook showing people rushing to buy water, toilet paper, paper towels, and other items at supermarkets and retailers across the U.S. Here are my thoughts. I'm getting PTSD from the COVID era. I thought it was ridiculous that people were panic buying toilet paper and hoarding it back then. I remember several years ago, there was a snowpocalypse that was predicted. A friend of mine knows the owner of a store that sells generators. He had so much interest in generators that he decided to adjust his return policy. He was afraid he would have a massive number of people wanting to return them after the storm. As it turns out, the snowpocalypse never happened. There was some light snow and that was it. All of those people who went out and spent a ton of money on generators and other supplies ended up not needing any of it. Human behavior is so interesting at times. It's fascinating how quickly fear can make people do irrational things. In terms of this dock worker strike, who knows how long it will take to settle it. With all of the media attention, I'm sure both sides are under a tremendous amount of pressure right now. At least people buying all of the toilet paper and paper towels will eventually be able to use it. I just feel bad for people who are unable to buy the small supply that they need right now. I read some of the comments beneath this article. I'll share some of them with you. One commenter said, Toilet paper and bottled water are made or produced in the United States. The next commenter said, Far too many people are totally selfish and just plain nuts. Another commenter said, When corporations start paying a fair wage, there will be no reason to strike. But that's never going to happen because CEOs are greedy. Well, my friends, the commenters always have interesting things to say. What do you think about all this? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I read another interesting article today. This one was on Yahoo Finance, put out by Bloomberg, and written by Vince Gali, titled, U.S. Manufacturing Activity Contracts for a Sixth Straight Month. According to the author, U.S. manufacturing shrank in September for a sixth month reflecting weak orders and declining employment. Well, my friends, I hate to hear about this. At one time, America was a manufacturing powerhouse. During the late 19th century and early 20th century, we were a force to be reckoned with. We manufactured a lot of what the world needed, and we had quality products. I'm not saying we still don't. I'm just saying we don't have the same level of production that we once had. A lot of what Americans want and need comes from other countries. With this dock worker strike underway, some people are starting to realize how fragile everything is when we are dependent on massive numbers of imports from other countries. Getting back to the article, the author shared select ISM industry comments. There were some comments that were positive. For example, Someone from the food, beverage, and tobacco products industry said we are anticipating a record sales volume for 2024. However, someone from the chemical products industry said North America demand has started to weaken. Someone from the transportation equipment industry said global demand continues to remain soft. Someone from the fabricated metals industry said the fourth quarter is slower than anticipated. Someone from the furniture industry said business is flat. We are waiting for interest rates to drop and the election outcome in November before we confirm our 2025 plans. Here are my thoughts. It's unfortunate to hear about so many industries that have slowed. In terms of the furniture industry, I think it is sad they are so dependent on interest rates. In my opinion, people shouldn't be financing furniture. Most furniture is worth very little used. Furniture is often very expensive. I understand it serves a purpose in a home, but I feel bad for people who often pay sky-high interest rates when financing it. Some people get sucked into these offers for zero interest and zero payments for 12 months. Unfortunately, 
Many people are unable to pay off what is owed, and they end up giving a lot of interest to these companies. Kicking the can down the road can have financial consequences. Even though some people think our economy is booming because the stock market is near all-time highs, the comments from various people in industries across America paint a different picture. On the topic of the stock market, I read an interesting article today on Yahoo Finance put out by Business Insider and written by Jennifer Soar, titled, The Stock Market is Headed for a 10% Correction as the Job Market Slows and Inflation Stays Sticky, Stifle Stock Chief Says. The author of this article referenced Barry Bannister, who said the stock market could be headed into an end-of-year correction. He said investors should take caution heading into the fourth quarter because the job market is slowing and inflation could remain more problematic than expected. Well, my friends, this may be bad news for some people and good news for others. I'm sure there are people on the sidelines with a lot of cash who are waiting for a buying opportunity. Some may be looking to load up on their favorite stocks. I read some of the comments beneath this article. I'll share some of them with you. One commenter said, there's been too much money in the system for three decades now. It started with Alan Greenspan. The next commenter said, hmm, a 4.2% unemployment rate and cooling inflation, yet simultaneously record homelessness, skyrocketing all-time high credit card debt, record high auto delinquency, rising home foreclosures, record high rents, and record high food prices in recent years. Something doesn't add up here. The next commenter said, if so, that will be a great time for me to jump back into the markets. I've had some extra cash sitting on the sidelines, making a safe 5% for a while now. The last comment that I'll share with you came from someone who said, if it goes down 3%, the deep state will pump it back up just for Biden and Harris. Well, my friends, the commenters always have interesting things to say. What do you think about all this? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I read a story today that has nothing to do with the economy. I read this on Yahoo Entertainment, put out by People, and written by Julia Moore, titled, American Pickers Frank Fritz Dies Two Years After Stroke, a dreamer who was just as sensitive as he was funny. The author referenced Mike Wolf from American Pickers, who said, it's with a broken heart that I share with all of you that Frank passed away last night. Well, my friends, this was really sad to read about. Such a loss since he was only 60 years old. My heart goes out to his family and friends. I have seen several American Pickers episodes, and Frank always seemed to be really upbeat and positive. He seemed to really enjoy what he was doing for a living, and he seemed to have a lot of knowledge about old motorcycles, old signs, and various vintage pieces that he would dig for in piles of personal property at the homes of different people. Enjoy the days that you have left on this earth. You never know when your time is up. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel. I want to extend a special thanks to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. I want to also thank all of my channel members. If you would like to become a channel member, there is a link in the description beneath this video. You can read more about the different membership levels. Please also check out some of the great books that I suggest you consider reading in the description below. I've included Amazon affiliate links to these books. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Stay healthy and wealthy. I'll see everyone in the next video.